Hello beautiful weaves of the internet, my name is Esme and today I'm going to talk about my manga collection. So for someone who has been an anime fan ever since they were 13, 14, I never dove into manga. Like never. I watched anime, didn't watch a couple of years, recently dove right back into the Fury, but I never decided to like go look into the source material. No, I never, I never dove into manga and I don't understand why. I started collecting earlier this year and I am completely sold. This is the best thing of self-care I've done in a long time and I'm just so happy about it. I don't think my love for manga has come to a point that I can call it a special interest. My fellow neurodivergents might know what I'm talking about, but I'm, I'm actually very passionate about manga now and I'm just enjoying it so much. But I'm also like taking my time reading it and not rushing through it, even though I'm so eager to know what's happening next. So this new passion is actually what I wanted to talk about in this video. I started collecting, I think, I think my starting point can be pinpointed to my birthday in April because that's when I've got my first physical manga set, which I'm going to show in a second. And from there on, it was just a ride. I actually think I made a quite impressive collection for someone who has only been collecting for about three months now. I actually filmed this video before. It spent so long in editing Purgatory that it became outdated. I think I doubled my collection in the time since I filmed that video, honestly good on me absolutely good on me because this video is going to be a lot more interesting because i actually got time and read some of it and i got new stuff that i'm generally excited about so behind me is my bookshelf you currently cannot see most of the manga because it's right behind my back i really need to do something about that because i want my manga to be in the background of my videos and this is actually quite a comfortable spot to sit in but it also makes for quite a review because you cannot see most of it unless you are familiar with the manga. You might recognize what's sitting right there or what this box is. I'm going to show you, don't worry. So let's get right into it. Before I'm going to turn around and get my camera with me to that part of the shelf, I'm going to show you something that's off camera. And that's a series I actually fully read right now. This is the Tokyo Ghoul series. I got a box set because it was significantly cheaper. I also said I finished it. I finished this part of the series. Like there is a sequel series called Tokyo Ghoul Re. I still need to get my hands on that box set, but it's frankly not sold anywhere here. It's always out of stock when I need it. It's always in stock when I don't have money. Now I have money and it's never in stock and it's frankly quite irritating. So specifically for this video, I put the volumes back into the box because I have it on my shelf elsewhere, which is not in the shot currently. And I also want to show off the box. I, I had quite frankly a hard time getting the books back in the box because I've read them, so they're a little bit more expanded. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the Tokyo Ghoul series. It looks so cool, but I highly recommend it. And I actually prefer this manga over the series of the anime series because the story, it made a lot more sense. I like the art better, but the, the thing about the series is it has its charm and it has an anime only spin on it, which is also very interesting. So if you're a diehard fan of Tokyo Ghoul, just go pick up the set. But if you're not a fan and you like your seinen manga, I recommend this. This is very good and I really, really want to read the sequel series soon. Let's move on. Slightly less out of the frame, but still in the frame. There was this box set. I'm not gonna lift it. The last time I tried to do it, I actually hurt myself because it's so heavy. Maybe, maybe I can like show the front like for a second. This is so much of a chunker. It has 27 volumes in it. It's so heavy. I'm... <laughs> I actually hurt myself just then. I bought this set because I love Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood a lot. And I just... Look, I'm so curious for manga, but I also want to read the manga of my favorite anime series. So basically, like, Tokyo Ghoul was a great example of that. And now Full Metal Alchemist. I haven't read a single volume of this yet. I plan to leave that for a time where I have plenty of time with between releases and such to just binge everything in one go. And I know that like 27 volumes, it's gonna take a while. I think it should take like a month, maybe two. It's one of those things that I just want to leave until I'm like in the right mindset so I can utterly enjoy it. If the anime series are anything to go by, especially as the my favorite version of Full Metal Alchemist is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is said to be following the manga more closely, then I'm in for a treat. I'm absolutely in for a treat. And I cannot wait to like dive into write this. Look at that. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's so heavy, I swear. If this annoying flap was not this annoying and I could fold it back, I would display it like this. Frankly, I can't. So it's on a shelf elsewhere with the Tokyo Ghoul manga. 
this box is absolutely huge and sometimes I'm a little bit sad that I cannot display it any better because it looks very cool but usually it's just set right there next to my other manga but it also looks really cool just to have uh, Edward uh, in the corner with me so I think it's time to reposition my camera and take a look at what's on my shelf right there now I've got everything that's not on the shelf right out of the way so here is my manga shelf I actually got like a couple of volumes that I was sending right here in the mail today. So I'm gonna make my way from the back to the front because that's the most logical order from how I'm currently sitting and tell you a little about everything. First series on my shelf, well, it's, it's a series, like it's three volumes, but not in one. It's Gyo by Junji Ito. I've been recommended this author, this mangaka, like by several people now. I couldn't just let it sit on the shelf when I was in the Waterstones in Amsterdam. This hardback is absolutely gorgeous and it feels really nice in my hands. And I know there are like two more of these, like these variations of his work. I, I love my horror and apparently he is really good at what he does. So I look forward to like uh, diving into this. I will report back of course, especially when I have read more by his hand to like give a good in-depth view. The second series is... Oh my god. The second series is the one that started it all, Death Note. It's one of my favorite anime. I consider it a masterpiece. I got these black editions, like they have sprayed edges, for my birthday this year, which was three months ago. I am absolutely in love because these editions are so cool. They bind two volumes of Death Note into one, making it extremely cheaper and they look good. So win, I guess. I finished the whole series. And I consider the manga to be better than the anime in a lot of points, and I consider this a masterpiece. The next series is Hell's Paradise, or how do you pronounce it? Jiko Kuraku. And it's a series basically my friend have bullied me into reading, like, Esme, you're gonna like this, go read it. And he's been pastoring me with it for like forever. And I finally got some volumes. I already read volume one online, so I got the following up volumes. I'm currently at volume three. If I, yeah, volume three. I'm really loving it because it's it's so strange and disturbing and the art style is really cool. Look, I'm a sucker for really powerful white-haired characters and apparently this, this series has one too. I was pleasantly surprised. I, apparently this series is gonna get an anime adaptation next year or at least it was announced so I assume it's gonna be next year. It's really good. It has 11 volumes. I'm only at three and I'm like infested already so badly. Sadly, it's so hard to get these volumes. They're sold out in the Netherlands like everywhere. I have a spreadsheet just to be able to get these. Which brings me to the next series actually, which is Jujutsu Kaisen, which is also impossible to get. I ordered these in May and I'm still waiting on a couple volumes. And as you can see, I don't have volume one yet, which is the most annoying thing because I have everything through eight except one. Like I can wait on zero, I can wait on nine and 10, but why does it have to be one I'm waiting for? Please, whoever is in charge of the reprints of Jujutsu Kaisen, get your stuff together, please. I need it, it's taking forever. But uh, yeah, I, I have watched the anime, I think it was March or something. I fell in love completely. It's so up my alley. I am absolutely sold on it. So I just want to read the manga, please. I want to catch up on current events. I have seen so many fan art based on the post anime arcs. I just want to know what's going on. Please help me. Also, for the amount of effort I spent on this manga, it better be good. Please, Akutame Sensei, please don't disappoint me. It was so hard. My spreadsheet skills are overloading right now. Next up is this lonesome volume of Spy X Family Volume 5. Why do I only have Volume 5? I found it in the store last weekend. It was cheap. It's frankly sold out everywhere else and I want to read this manga as well. So I thought might as well grab it now because then I have it. Then I don't have to worry about this specific volume. It was also like aside from a random Naruto volume, the only manga at the store. It didn't make sense. It was also put in a random place. I'm still convinced it was not actually from the store, but oh well. It was cheap and worth it because I really want to read this. Quick disclaimer though, if you want the descriptions of the series from me, you're you're gonna have to forget it because unless I have like read it and I'm gonna make an in-depth video about it, I'm not able to make a description of it. You're better off just looking it up on my anime list. I, I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm just chaos incarnate and you just have to kind of deal with it. Speaking of passions, My Hero Academia is one of them now. I got so addicted, I watched the whole thing in 10 days, like recently. Yes, everything, like all of the seasons, 
all the movies, all the OVAs and specials and whatnot in 10 days. I burned myself out pretty much for anime for like the following week, but then I went on to watch Haikyuu and then I got <laughs> addicted as well. Yeah, I decided I'm gonna read the manga because I'm having withdrawal symptoms from this series. And I just want to catch up with the manga because I saw some panels and it looks really interesting and it looks so different from where the anime is currently, so yay. I, I got some. I'm currently at volume five and like everything after that I currently holding in my hand came in today actually. I'm really loving it and it feels like I'm just speed running the anime. So I passionately love this series now and I have only a few people I can talk about it. So if you love My Hero Academia, please send me a message and please uh, fanboy with me. I need people to fanboy with. I'm so excited about this. I'm also gonna drop this if I don't put it down. I will fix that later. Also, I'm not going to try and hide my chaotic energy on this channel. So this is what you're going to deal with until the end of the video. We're almost at the end of my manga collection and I just, I'm just so happy with this specifically. Like I said, I went shopping in Amsterdam with my dad and I was in the American Book Center and they had this cute little box set of seven volumes of Pokemon Avengers. As someone who grew up with Pokemon and had several phases of special interest in Pokemon, finding Pokemon manga, so aligning an all special interest with like, I think it's an upcoming one, please bear with me. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And it also has like the old art style. Like I think the original release of these is from forever ago. It doesn't say. But I got seven volumes of just that. And I don't really care what kind of story this is. Just it being Pokemon is amazing. I don't have a lot else to say about this. I'm just extremely happy with finding this. I was holding the collect editions of Pokemon Adventures and I'm not exactly sure if they are the same series as this or like the same story or maybe it's split, I don't know. But just this little box set. I first of all love box sets, but also now I have seven separate volumes and it looks so much cuter and I just love having more volumes. And also look at this. This looks so cute, right? I don't know. I'm just so happy with it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to report back when I've read it and like share my thoughts on it. The last series I own is not on the shelf. It's not on any shelf, actually, because it's on my tablet is Attack on Titan. I managed to snack a humble bundle of 27 volumes of the main series and like I think another 20 odd something volumes of spin-offs and prequel and companion books and whatnot. I was super lucky with that because it was like 20 euros and just that for the main series for 27 volumes of the main series. I don't know how many volumes it has in total, but it was released alongside uh, the first part of season four. So I think it's like all the manga up until season four, but that was a steal. And I, I own all the manga now, so I don't have to buy it right now because I'm quite frankly broke for a reason, <laughs> but I'm able to read it and I'm planning on reading it before the second part of season four begins because frankly, I think I'm gonna get spoiled if I don't do it. I know there was already a shitstorm about the ending and I missed that completely. I only know it happened because someone told me and I managed to dodge all kinds of spoilers and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that the second time. So I'm gonna find out what the ending of Attack on Titan is before the anime ends. So this is my manga collection. I am super excited to go into this journey. This is like something really exciting and a whole new community to explore. I hope you guys are along for the ride with me. Thank you for joining me in this absolute chaos. I'm gonna fix this off camera and uh, yeah. I hope you stick around for more videos. Please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. That means a lot to me and uh, I We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.